Hey guys, this is Eric again from Rogue Faction Airsoft. I wanted to bring you another review today. Um, in one of my last reviews, I believe it was like my AC loadout review, um, whatever, that's totally outdated by the way, I'm into the multicam now, totally new loadout. Uh, the review should be coming in in the next couple of weeks for that probably. But anyway, um, I mentioned making a review for my Combat Machine M4, um, and I just finished upgrading it and everything, and so I really wanted to show you guys what I've done and uh, just kind of review the gun in general anyway. Um, so anyway, here it is. <clears throat> this here is the G&G M4 Combat Machine RIS, and it's the tanned version, obviously. Um, I like the tan first off because it just gives you a little bit more camo. It's kind of like kind of like the multi-cam really I mean it and it just blends in a lot better um, with your surroundings especially here in Illinois in the spring summer and fall seasons um, <clears throat> but anyway um, starting off uh, obviously I've done a lot to this gun I've upgraded uh, it like to the max as much as I'm willing to upgrade it that's what I've done anyway um, <clears throat> Uh, I guess starting off uh, from how it came out of the box. Um, it obviously did not have any of this stuff on it. It came with a detachable rear sight. The front sight is fixed, but who cares? It still looks awesome, and it doesn't get in the way of anything. Um, the body, everything in here that you see that's tan, including the RIS, the whole upper receiver and everything here, lower receiver too, is high polymer plastic. Everything black on the other hand, like your outer barrel, your front sight, uh, the uh, stock tube here, the charging handle, uh, trigger and fire selector are all metal. Um, so don't worry, it's not like it's a piece of junk. I mean, God, it's made by G&G, &G, so it's gotta be great, right? Also, um, for a high quality AEG like this one, made by G&G, &G, um, they really pulled through to help us uh, you know, economy friendly uh, people, and they made this gun only $140 on Evike, and I believe it's the same price on Airsoft GI. And that is awesome, by the way. And this is my favorite gun that I have. There's only 140 bucks. I mean, by now it's probably worth a whole lot more than any of my other AEGs or uh, guns, anyway. But um, out of the box. With 0.2 gram BBs, it was shooting 345, I believe is what it chronoed in at. So that's awesome. And, uh, you know, you can get out onto any field with that. Um, and it spit out about 15 BBs per second, which is also really fast. It's got a great rate of fire with a 9.6 volt battery back here in the stock. Um, but anyway, let me get into what I've upgraded. Uh, now, um, obviously, you can see I've put on the, uh, it's a Mad Bull Gem Tech 5-inch uh, suppressor or barrel extension. It's excellent, actually. It, um, it, it's allowed me to put an inner barrel in there, actually, from the 363 millimeter length to a 447 millimeter. So now I'm going to be able to shoot more accurately. Um, with a greater distance as well. And uh, that's also a 6.03 uh, millimeter type bore barrel um, uh, made by Mad Bull as well. And more internals, I've put an EG1000 motor by Tokyo Marui down here in the grip. Um, and that helps me with my rate of fire because I've also put in an M120 spring and spring guide uh, by Sistema. And then um, to also increase the FPS, I put in a uh, Matrix aluminum air nozzle, um, and those, I'm sure, boost the FPS uh, greatly. I should be shooting around, uh, well, with point twos, I should be shooting around 425, and instead of the 345, so, I mean, right there, you've gone up 80 FPS with just a few little upgrades, and then... Also, to increase my accuracy, not that really I needed to really work on that because this gun is accurate right out of the box. 
but I just wanted to make it just that perfect little streamline where every BB will hit your target. Um, and I, I really wanted to work on consistency too, so I also got uh, upgraded buckings. But anyway, to increase my accuracy, I've also switched to uh, 0.25 gram BBs. And so um, I should actually be shooting about, with all my upgrades and everything, I should be shooting about 385 to 390 FPS. Um, uh, logistics wise and whatever and so that's it for internal upgrades and uh, my rate of fire has actually been able to maintain the same from the old spring and the 0.2 grams to the new spring and the 0.25 grams because of that motor that I put in so that's pretty awesome and uh, anyway uh, for um, external upgrades uh, as you can see, I've put these rail covers here just for um, exposed rail or whatever. Right here I put a laser um, just for CQB games, whatever. And then for night operations or in case I go into a dark building, put on a, an ultra fire uh, tactical light. And this thing shines. You, you can like see the identity of somebody from about 75 to 100 yards away because this thing just it's like a spotlight on the side of your gun it's actually quite amazing and I've also put on the Magpul angled foregrip which is great because it gives you a perfect amount of stability and mobility so that's really nice and then here on top I have a Trijicon ACOG scope which is really cool because it's got three different intensities of light and the crosshairs um, change from green to red which is also really cool and uh, also uh, Condor three-point sling um, that's pretty much it for upgrades and stats on the gun and everything um, it, it's really lightweight which is excellent this is like with uh, battery and full magazine capacity and everything it's even lighter than my friends full metal M4 without anything in it so that's pretty great so I have that extra bit of mobility as well and then um yeah I mean I've pretty much covered everything I totally recommend this gun a hundred percent to um, any beginner uh, level um, airsoft or even novices if you want to just get this gun play with it and upgrade the heck out of it it is awesome because it's just it's a fun gun man I mean you can just do so much with it um, if anybody has questions about getting um, like your barrel extension on the front of this gun removing the orange tip don't ask me because <laughs> obviously I did it but my methods are a little bit extreme I have tried all those different things that you see on YouTube with the, you know, uh, putting it in uh, your sink just full of like almost boiling water to try and get it off, and uh, so it melts, you know, so it melts the glue um, holding it on there. But that doesn't work. The hair dryer thing that doesn't work, and I kept on asking my dad, and my grandpa. Um, my grandpa he owns a shop, and I kept asking him what I could do to get it off. My grandpa says, oh, we'll bring it over here. Gets out the blowtorch and like just nukes the thing off. <laughs> so uh, don't do that. You might ruin the threads on the front of your gun. That's not good. Um, still think it's kind of funny, though, because I magically managed to get this on the front. And I'm really happy about that. I'm really psyched out about this gun. Uh, I have used it in the field without upgrades. And I haven't with the upgrades yet, actually, um, I mean with the internal upgrades. So I'm really excited to see how that'll perform and how well that'll be. And uh, yeah, I just, I love this gun. <laughs> um, buy it, Evike, Airsoft GI, both $140. Um, it's the G&G &G, um, Combat Machine M4 RAS. Um, it's not the carbine. Make sure you get the RIS if you want to get these modular rails here on the on the sides. Um, and I, I really think that's like the only way to go nowadays because they make so much stuff to put on the 
sides and pretty much you kind of need it you know but anyway um i'm just gonna ramble on forever and i could ramble on all day about this gun just because of how awesome it is um but i'm gonna let you guys go and hopefully this review is a little bit shorter than the rest of mine um but anyway i hope you like the gun comment rate subscribe tell me what you did and didn't like and any questions you might have feel free to leave them i'll answer them uh shortly um, I check YouTube like every single day so um, and then also um, if you guys could give me a hand I actually have not tried this with the upgrades yet and I was gonna try to not tell you this but I kinda broke it <laughs> uh, when I was messing around with the gearbox I believe something happened I'm guessing it's well actually I, I'm 99.9% .9 positive it is either the air nozzle or the cylinder in the cylinder head and there may be like an air gap there or something or maybe something with the tappet plate I don't know if any of you gearheads out there know what's going on um, it's firing just fine see what and but um, yeah really high rate of fire right anyway but I mean it, the system is working in there and it, I can feel air coming out of it it's just, when I have my mag clipped up in there, and I know it's not a feed issue because then I look up when I take the mag out and there's BBs up in the hop up and everything. Um, but anyway, um, if you guys could help me out, that would be awesome. Uh, maybe it's even a hop up issue, I don't know. Um, but if you could let me know what the problem might be, because it's not firing. It fires like the first and maybe like the second BB. And, but they only go like 20 feet and they just drop. But if you guys could help me out, that'd be awesome. Because I really want this baby to get back out there. Because it kicks butt. Anyway, I'll let you guys go. Uh, have fun. Be responsible. Be safe. And uh, enjoy.